Hello, friends. The year was 1912. The candidate, Theodore Roosevelt, in one of his most famous speeches of all time, Roosevelt was shot shortly before the actual event. You see, it was a beautiful day. Teddy was just walking along the train, ready to possibly make his speech. And then the worst thing happened. He was shot. Oh, oh, my, oh my god! Oh, my god. Oh, no. oh, my god. oh he got shot! Ah, a tree. Ah. But then he got up. It was like nothing happened. And he made his speech. Hold on, it's not focused. Friends. I should ask you to be quiet for this possible moment. I don't know if you really understand that I've just been shot. What? But it takes more to kill a bull moose. But unfortunately, I had a manuscript. You see, I was going to make this long speech, and there's a bullet. There it was, right here, where it went through. Oh my God. It possibly saved my life from going into my heart. The bullet is now in me, so I cannot make a long speech, but I'll try my best. And now, friends, I want you to take you on this adventure to concede to say a word of solemn warning to my fellow countrymen. First of all, I will want to say this about myself. I have altogether two important things to think of and to feel any concerns on my own death. And now I cannot speak of you and certainly within five minutes of being shot. I am telling you this literally truth when I say to my concerns is for many other things. No matter what happens, happier lives than I have, a happier life and everywhere. I've been able to do certain things that I greatly wish to do. I am in this cause my whole heart, my soul. I believe that the progressive movement is making life a lot easier for our people. Mama. A movement to try and take burdens off of men, especially women and children of this country. I am absorbed and successful of this movement. I'm going to ask you to be quiet as possible, what? for I'm not able to give a challenge of the bull moose quite as loud. Now I am, now you was, or what he represents. He is crowded. He stood in darkness in a crowded under the automobile. And where he cheered me, and I got up to bow. He stepped forward and shot me in the darkness. You're right, I did. Now, friends, of course, I do not know as I say anything about him, but it's very naturally thing that weak and venomous mind should have been inflamed into act of violence by the kind of awful, meditative, and absolute have been upon. I've been flattened. For at last three months of the papers of interest of not only Mr. Debs, but of Mr. Wilson and Mr. Taft. Now, friend, I'm going to speak of myself at all. I give you my words. I do not care a rape about things being shot, not a rape. Now, friends, and this incident has occurred, this effort to assign me emphasis to a pillar of disagree of uh, the progression movement. Friends, every good citizen ought to, ought to do. Nobody was going to do anything. I found speedily of the interest concerns law being by being made perfectly could be made a most useful instrument of helping solve some of our internal problems. <clears throat> Sorry, lost the paper. Hurry up! Now, friends, I know that of, of you, Wisconsin would never repeal 
those laws, even if they were at commercial hurts. I'm just trying to trying to get to New York to adopt such laws, even though it'll be the commercial hurts. As you look at our declared declaration, and hear our read, our platform about the social and inner city justice, and now and then friends. Vote for progression tickets with regards to me, without regards to my personality. For only by vote of the platform you can be true to the cause of progressive through this union. Thank you. So this man, this great man, was known for making this speech. He went on with the progressive movement to cause the great divide in the Republican Party, which caused the Democrats, therefore, Woodrow Wilson, to win. Shortly thereafter, he fought in his sleep and died. He was a great man, the Bull Moose. His name was Teddy Roosevelt.